So we're going to hand it over to Nicole. So now we understand the theory. We have the context. Now let's look at the tools and how they can work. And, and we're going to show you the tools in a different way than what we've seen them before. Up until now, most of the tools have been generative, creating content uh, of different types, audio, video, image. Now we're going to create strategic content, content that is not destined to be seen by the end user, but rather will guide the use of resources and the business decisions of your company. This is really for the business leader. And so Nicole is going to talk about Jasper and one of the tools it has to help you develop your brand voice. Yeah, thank you. Um, and on the comment of eliminating jobs, I we use AI and I think AI can superpower, supercharge anybody in any role if you know how to use it right. And so nobody needs to fear losing their job. They just need to get educated on how to use AI and, and then they'll be indispensable. Um, so we were talking about emotions and this is another project of mine, emotionality. And um, you can take the quiz, see what your top emotional need is. And we use emotionality points. So there's six basic human needs. And we will use these needs as inputs when we are generating content to make sure that it touches on these emotional needs. So I just thought I would show you that real quick. Um, this is emotionality.com. Um, and so if we're doing an email sequence, we might ask that it, um, that it contains at least three of the emotional needs, that it satisfies the needs with the content that's in there. So that's kind of, we want to put the heart into the content and there are ways to automate that. And um, so as you just said, I'm going to show you Jasper. Jasper has a new feature as of a couple weeks ago <clears throat> where it will take your voice and you can add the voice throughout every prompt and piece of content that you create. And all you have to do to add voice is enter the URL. And so for here, we'll do emotionalities. We'll see what it says for voice on here. Um, and if you don't use Jasper and you're using ChatGPT, a way to do your brand voice is you can ask ChatGPT, put a piece of content in and ask it to describe the voice. You can try famous people. So I have a friend who does Joe Rogan with less expletives um, and that a female friend. Um, I use a combination of Michelle Obama and Neil Patel because Michelle Obama is very wordy and long. Neil Patel is very short in marketing and Michelle Obama has more heart. So the combination of those two sounds like me. If I'm responding to a Facebook post or something, Michelle Obama's voice is a great one for me. Um, I just have to make it short because her AI thinks her voice writes in paragraphs and not sentences. <laughs> um, so this is what it says the brand voice is for emotionality based on going to the website and checking it out. It says it's informative, persuasive, emphasizing emotional intelligence benefits through repetition, anecdotes, rhetorical questions, direct address, positive language, and bullet points for easy comprehension and reader engagement. And I can add some things, change it up if I want to change the tone. But this is what Jasper is saying about the voice. And then I can go into, um, I can go into any of my content that I want to write. And it will retain the voice. And you, as you can see, you can write any kind of content imaginable. And so if you have bigger teams, this is great. Even if you have two or three people that are always writing, then it keeps your voice and it keeps the content in here and a historical record of it. It also is tied into ChatGPT. Um, and you can see I can select my voice. And this is a client of ours, so I could select their voice. Um, so I'm going to select that, apply it to chat. I can even include search. Um, I can optimize for quality or speed. I'm actually going to do quality on here. Um, and I will say, write about us paragraph for AI smart marketing. And then there's a feature here to enhance the prompt. 
um, and it will make it a more detailed prompt for me too. So it says act as a copywriter, which is an important part of this. So when you're defining what your brand voice is, you want, you may say it's as a copywriter, you might say as an expert in, like if you are a doctor, you might know, say that it's, you're an expert in whatever your field is. And this one's copywriter. Um, so now it's gonna do a little chat there. And this is giving me my about us in my brand voice. So this is a great, uh, there are a lot of questions in there about what tools to use. We use Jasper as a tool and we use ChatGPT when we're creating copy. Um, and then in Jasper, I did a little, I mean, in ChatGPT, I did something fun for you for this session. Um, we use the story brand format, Donald Miller, and Dan was referring to that earlier. And then for ChatGPT, it's not gonna do the full length right now because it's not gonna give you your whole brand script because ChatGPT does sort Can of- I, I'm, I'm gonna cut in for a sec because yeah. I love story brand um, and I wanted to just give people like a little micro lesson on it um, because I think it's one, like whenever I tell people about it, like they all run out and go and buy the book um, mm -hmm. because it is really powerful and it's very aligned with something I'm very passionate about. And then you'll see how to utilize it. This is where I would have saved $7,500 that I kind of referenced at the beginning. John, if you could put uh, the story brand book, um, amazon.com link um, into the chat um, so that um, folks who are interested can buy it. it I, I, you know, I don't get anything out of, uh, put, you know, I don't have any relationship with, with these folks. So it's not about that. It's just, you know, I, I love sharing a great tool 